What's up YouTube? Got another video for you guys today. I was planning to post yesterday, uh, but I was feeling really out of it. So I decided to just postpone my video editing and posting till today. Well, in this video, I have training from my first three days of the week, so my heavy days. And I'll just do a simple voiceover uh, talking about plateaus and how to break them. But before we continue, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be posting about twice a week. I'm also open to feedback as I'm new to all of this and need as much help as possible. Definitely excited about learning all of this new stuff though as it's a new world out there for me. Anyway, let's move on with the video. Right off the bat, we have my leg day on Monday. As you can see, I managed to hit my all-time personal record of 405 pounds. I then uh, calculated 85% of that and did my three sets of three reps of 335 pounds, I believe. And if you look at the title of my video, my goal for squats was 405 pounds, which means that I hit my goal for that already. The squat actually looked decently clean and easy, which means that I could have probably done more, but I didn't want to get overexcited and push myself too hard. Yes, that means that I need to set new goals and I haven't exactly decided what new number I should hit yet, but I'll be updating you guys on that soon. But that brings me to the main thing that I wanted to talk about today. I've been working out for about nine years now. It wasn't exactly consistent the whole time, I was pretty consistent at the beginning while I was in the army and also in college and that's where I hit my original personal bests and all that. But after that, I didn't hit any personal bests or PBs until now. A lot of that had to do with where I was and what I was doing. You see, I was in China for about 5 months volunteering at an orphanage. And then after that, I was also getting my master's degree and working at the same time. Not to mention that I had to drive an hour one way to get to my classes. So. Lifting automatically just took a back seat for me since I had other responsibilities that I needed to do. And I was honestly just really tired after finishing those responsibilities that I didn't have any time or the energy to work out. Another part of why I've been stagnant in my process is because I put a limit on myself to be honest. I remember being stuck at 225 pound squat and thinking, oh wow, <laughs> I, I did pretty good, you know, that's pretty heavy. And, you know, in the beginning, that was motivation for me to lift heavier. But once I hit 315 in the squat, or three plates, I began to get complacent and started comparing myself with other people that didn't squat that heavy yet. I was so busy looking at all the people around me that I stopped progressing because other people weren't as strong as I was, and I just didn't have any motivation to lift heavier. Basically, I was lifting to get the Myers. Not that that is bad all the time since motivation is motivation, but then there will come a time when there won't be anyone watching and that's when things actually count. I just focus too much on the extrinsic motivation or motivation that comes from the outside rather than intrinsic motivation or whatever comes from inside and also began to doubt whether I could reach four plates in the squat or four or five. I was so scared of failing that I just didn't progress at all. And that is how I plateaued for five years. Fast forward to now, I have the chance to be in a gym that's uh, not Planet Fitness. I have no one judging me if I happen to make some noise if I'm lifting and the lunk alarm doesn't go off. Uh, the gym has free weights as you can see. And I actually have the time to you know, go to the gym and focus on my lifting. But most importantly, I had someone challenge me after seeing that I really enjoyed watching, you know, the CrossFit Games or even after watching a fitness YouTuber called Craig Ritchie. Um, shout out to you, Craig and the whole HustleMade team. Um, especially when, you know, Craig jumped from CrossFit to Olympic weightlifting. And even with six months of preparation, he managed to win the British Open in his weight class for Olympic weightlifting. Basically, that person that challenged me said to me, why don't you compete in the CrossFit Games or in powerlifting? And originally, my excuse was always the same, you know, I'm not strong enough, or I can't do that. These people have been training for so long, and they do like two-a-days or three-a-days. But then the reply to my excuses was, and why not? 
I probably gave some other excuse then, but in all honesty, yeah, why not? Why can't I push myself hard enough so that I'm able to lift as much as other people can? Why can't I do it, even if I'm 28 years old? I mean, <laughs> Craig is the same age as I am, even if he's older by a few months, but he's doing it. Why can't I? Not to downplay what he is doing or what he has done, but in this case it's about me shortchanging myself, motivation, and drive. That's a big part of why I decided to start posting videos. You know, that's a big part of why I'm using this medium to hopefully try and motivate someone else that's going through the same thing or has gone through the same thing. Because ultimately we're all just trying to get better at our craft. We're all just trying to improve in whatever we're doing. Whether it's getting stronger, getting bigger, or just being better at jo our job. No matter how introverted, monotone, or awkward I am or whatever, I can still get this message out to you through a video. Well, that was basically a spiel from me about my personal example of a plateau that I've had and how I am working towards breaking that plateau or how I have been breaking that plateau. But that was a plateau over the span of about five years. As for plateaus that are not over the span of a year, let's say a shorter term plateau, like for example we've been lifting the same weight for the last three months. I'd say the best advice I can give based on my own personal experience is just to take a break. There have been times where I got too tired or busy that I took a week off and from going to the gym. The thing was, I thought that maybe after a week I'd get weaker, but when I came back I actually felt more refreshed and energized and actually got stronger than I was before. Scientifically, I'd say part of that would be because, you know, my muscles actually had time to repair all the micro tears and um, I actually managed to, you know, work out without being sore for once. Also, my central nervous system had a break. But especially since COVID, I think people have been a little more aware of how someone's mental state has a lot of effect on their body and I think that it would be wise to not just take that as you know, someone giving excuses or being weak. But that being said, um, I appreciate you guys just listening to the video and watching the video. I know it's a little bit different from what I've been posting before, and it may be a little too personal at the time, but I think it just puts a lot of context into why I'm doing what I'm doing. Either way, have a great rest of your day, have a great weekend, and remember, train insane.